Snake. She played me like a piano. Forget about it. You'll get him back. That is, as long as you've got the will to do it. I am not giving up. All right, then. I confirmed the location with Huey. The final testing base for Peace Walker is 15 miles to the north of that lab. It's an underground facility disguised as a rock quarry. All you need to do is sneak in and destroy the AI for good this time. Right. Snake. You can destroy it, right? Yeah. We all have our limits. Actions beyond our abilities. Don't worry. I won't screw it up this time. You're the one who killed the boss. Destroying that AI means reliving that memory. It's just a machine. Snake, I'm worried. Worried? For the same reason the CIA entrusted the nuclear launch to an AI. A man can condemn a handful of criminals to the death penalty if they're prepared to assume that responsibility. But who among us could do the same to hundreds of millions of innocent civilians? Who could reduce thousands of years of human history to ash in an instant? Could any flesh and blood human being make that decision? No way in hell. No one man could bear the burden of total genocide. It's what's allowed our cowardly species to survive all this time. But for a machine... Willpower is no issue. What are you saying, Kaz? You're a hero, Snake. But you're not a machine. That I can't destroy that thing? That machine's not the problem. It's that the boss still lives inside of you. Bullshit! She's dead, Snake. It's time to come to terms with that. <sighs> Let me put it another way. You've left everything behind. Your country. Your identity. Your past and ideals. But there's still one thing you haven't let go of. What are you talking about? The boss. You still haven't let her go. That's why you're so afraid to find out the truth about her. And that's what's holding you back from your future. Snake. She died a decade ago. How long can you live with a ghost? Kaz. 
I thought I knew everything about her. But I still don't understand what happened to her at the end. There, you're no different from that scientist woman. When she didn't believe me, I realized something. That debriefing I heard could have been part of the cover story they made up. Now, even I'm not sure what her real intentions were. Why did she take that mission? How did she feel about dying? Why was I chosen? You want to know the truth? Huh? The truth won't change the past. You still want to know? No. I took on this mission for a kid who believes in peace. Fine then. There's no point in arguing. Peace Walker is on the verge of completion. Come on, boss. Let's get to that base.